Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. This video is intended for combustion setup for the new pennant control released in November of 2017. We'll also show some of the navigation. As you can see, I've removed the cover. Prior to doing that, I shut off gas and electric. Our next step is check the incoming gas pressure. We need the gas off and I'll remove one of the test plugs. Now I'll install my barb to measure my incoming gas pressure. This is a common gas train to each gas valve. And again, we have a test plug on the top of each gas valve. The boiler we're showing here is a 1 million and it has a CSD1 high low gas pressure switches off that tap. That's why I chose the middle tap. Next, with my manometer zeroed out, I'll hook up my manometer and turn on my gas. This will show us the incoming gas pressure. So now you can see we have 6.8 inches of water calling coming into this boiler. This boiler requires a minimum of 5, maximum of 13 inches of water column. So, at 6.80 inches of water column, that should be static gas pressure. None of my valves are on on the boiler. Static is the gas pressure sitting idle. We also want to run another test when we're done with all valves running to make sure that this gas pressure does not drop below 5 inch minimum. Now I'll turn the power back on to line up the display. The display will go through its booting synchronization process. The blower will kick on for a few seconds. It's a free purge. And now we're at the home screen. So right now we're in U, which is the user padlock. For this, I'm actually going to go back into my padlock. I'm going to log out, which is now padlocks locked. I'm going to log back in with number 17. That is it for our installer password. I click enter and now you see the letter I on the padlock and it's in green showing the padlock symbol open. Now I'm in uh, installer mode so I can go into the parameters. So I want to give this call, boiler a call for heat. B1 and B2 is in standby. My stages are all off. Blower is all off. Currently, I'm showing an inlet temperature of 69 degrees and an outlet temperature of 70 degrees with a delta T of 1 degree. Okay? Boilers firing or fan speed at 0%. I will give this boiler a call for heat. first thing we'll see is lockout. So it's telling us the boiler's locked out. I have a call for heat, and but I'm in lockout. It says reset. You can reset it there, but it's telling me what the lockout is, is low gas pressure switch. Even if I reset it there, it will not fire the boiler. The reason is, my low gas pressure switch, which is right here, is in lockout. When we leave the factory, we test fire each boiler, but we obviously remove gas. If you're a CSD1 that has high and low gas pressure switches, this will be tripped. If you're non-CSD1, you will not have these controls. I'm going to reset it here. Come over to my touch screen and reset it here. Now, I also want to mention, if this blower is running, I would not be able to reset it. I have to wait till the blower time zone. Okay? So now we go back to here and we'll see that we have a calculated set point of 160. Our blower is in pre-purge, or V1's in pre-purge. Now HSI, that's the hot surface ignition, warm-up period. We can take an amp probe and do a test on that. So, coming down through the upper deck is a hot surface igniter wires. You may not have these Molex plugs on them. This is in our test lab. I'm going to put an amp probe on it. We're going to wait for us to go through, through pre-purge. So, currently, we're in pre-purge. It's going to tell us everything that's going on with the boiler. Once we pre-purge the chamber, the next thing that will happen is we're going to HSI, hot surface ignition. 
Yes, as you can see, we're, gonna, we're running about 3.5 amps. A good igniter runs between 3.4 and, and 4.2. If you have a weak igniter, you want to replace it anything less than that. Before I actually go and check all of my valves, there's going to be an inner stage delay. And that inner stage delay, I want all three valves coming on. In this case, we're running a 1 million BTU boiler. I want all three valves coming on. So now I'm going to go to configure. Central heat set point. I'm going to choose first stage, the first one. And as you can see, we've got some of the set points here. Under additional settings, I can get in and set my stage delay on time. Again, I want my each gas valve to come on quickly, or fairly quickly. This should be defaulted around 60 seconds. I'm in the installer password. If I was not, I can't change it. Um, and again, I, I dropped this down to 20 seconds. You can simply increase or decrease. I would at least give 15 to 20 seconds between stages. Why I'm dropping this down is we don't want to preheat our building loop and take too long. We may not be able to stay in full fire. Combustion testing is only done with all gas valves on. So I've dropped that down to 20 seconds. Click enter, it's going to allow it. Again, if I had it here at 1 to 21, if I click enter, click OK. I'm going to go back in again and drop this back to 20. Click OK. And now my stage on delay time will come on uh, in 20 seconds, every 20 seconds once we fire. I can go back to my home screen and now we'll watch the fire. I'm going to give this a call for heat. So, as you can see, stage one is on. We're firing at about 30%. This is a 1 million BTU boiler. I want all three valves in the on position to do a combustion test. Stage two is coming on. Stage three should be firing shortly. It's showing B2 on the HSI warm up. Now stage three is on. We're at 100% of fire. Now we can do combustion testing. However, one thing we have to do first is test the manifold gas pressures. Measuring the manifold pressure is done at each gas valve. We'll shut off all of the valves except for the one that we're testing the manifold pressure at. And there's two ways of turning the valves off. One is by the touchscreen display, which I'll show you first. And then the second way is by manually shutting the gas valves off. Why we typically use the digital display is if you have a larger boiler, greater than a 1 million BTU boiler, it will have two sets of igniters. If we shut it off digitally, it won't lock out that second half of the boiler. If we shut it off manually, it may lock out the second half and you would have to reset it. So the digital way, We'll go in under service, press service, and the first option here is burner, press burner. And this boiler is a one million, so I have three stages. If you have a two million, you can have four stages, etc. Maybe only a 500, a 750, only have two stages. So we can go in and shut off each stage. Uh, for this example, I'm going to shut off stage three and stage two to check my manifold on stage one. Once I press disable, press the back button, it's going to prompt you to choose OK. Press OK. And now I'll go back to my home screen and you'll see that stage two and stage three is off. Only stage one is on. However, I'm going to go back in here again, service, burner, I'll enable these stages for an example. And if you only have a single stage boiler and you choose to shut off valve one, it automatically will shut the other valves off. Okay? Um, you should be able to go in and, and with this it has two igniters. So if you've only got one igniter and you've got a two stage boiler, it's only stage one and two, 
the igniter is under stage one. That's why when we tried to change it, it changed both uh, stage one and two. Uh, and then here I'll click OK. Let's go back to the home screen. And right now, burner two is in the hot surface ignition warm up period, telling me it will actually energize valve three. Valve three is now in the on position. So, that is the example. Again, I'm going to go back in to burner. What I want to do is enable valve one, valve two, and three. I'm going to shut off this example. Um, and that way I can test manifold pressure on valve one. With my digital manometer, zeroed out. If I have CSD1, I'll have this butterfly valve set up. I've already put this barb in for my manometer. Uh, if not, you're gonna remove the test plug on the bottom side of the valve and install your bar. Make sure your manometer is zeroed out. Now you can install the bar. I'll open the butterfly, and I'm looking for 2.5 inches of water column. As you can see, I'm running about 2.4 to 2.5, which is good. A couple of tenths is not a big deal. If not, here under on your gas valve, there'll be aluminum cap. Take the cap off, make an adjustment with your screwdriver. When you're done, the aluminum cap should go back on. So now valve one is checked and set. I have to do this for all three valves in this case. I'll enable valve two, check that one, and then we'll come back into this option and enable valve three. With the second option, we'll go in and manually shut off valves two and three. I'll open the butterfly, and I'm looking for 2.5 inches of water column. So now valve one is checked and set. Remove my hose, come over to valve two. Zero off my manometer again. And open my butterfly. Now, you'll see that I'm not reading 2.5. The reason is I shut that gas valve off. What I'm getting is a, a pressure reading from my burners through the manifold, okay? I will energize my gas valve, and now you'll see I'm reading positive 265. In this case, I will go in and I will make a slight adjustment. Now you can see I've set up four to two five. It's going to bounce around a little bit. Again, a couple of tenths is not a big issue. Lastly, I'll shut this valve off and I'll go to my third valve. I originally shut these valves off. You can leave them on, but keep in mind you may preheat your loop depending on the time of the year and what your building demand is. Uh, also, if you shut these off in stage two with lockout, it'll read lockout. In that case, turn your valve back on, hit the reset on the screen, wait, and you'll then see. So in this case right now, stage three is in the on position, and I can check my last valve. I'm zeroed out. I'll go to my manometer. Open the butterfly, and you'll see I'm reading between, call it 2.4 and 2.5. We can make a slight adjustment. Okay. With the valves adjusted, what's left? Combustion setup. With all valves in the on position, on, on, and on. Again, this is a 1 million BTU. We had a 2 million. There'd be four stages or four valves. We're reading 100%. I can now do my combustion analog. I'm going to turn the pump on and install it in the flow. What we're looking for is CO2. So as you can 
can see we're pretty close to 8% CO2. You can make adjustments very simple. Next is on that air shutter. If we have our gas valves all set at 2.5 inches of water column, it can be either natural or, or propane, it has to be at 2.5. This boiler I'm running natural gas, so my CO2 on natural gas is 8%. I can either open or close my air shutter, okay? You can loosen the nuts on the bottom part of the blower. However, you really just need to tap on it one way or the other to make your air shutter adjustment. When you're done, my suggestion, a black magic marker and put a mark there. Now you know on the day you started it, your CO2s and manifold pressures were correct. Now when you're making an air shutter adjustment, put the cover back on if you're ducted outside the building. Uh, if you've got a 6 inch vent collar or a 7 inch vent collar, you want to be able to restrict that air. You don't want free air coming right in here to the blower. So again, when you're making combustion adjustments, on the air shutter with your analyzer. If you're bringing combustion air into the boiler, put the cover back on. If you have any technical questions, please contact the factory. Thank you.